fucking legend. I feel like wherever you are is a big part of your identity, no matter who you are, so can't help where you're from, you know what I mean? So I just try my best to paint the most accurate depiction of where I come from. You know, it's not always good, it's not always bad. It's just a place. I think that you should know that this could be forever, baby. What's your addiction, baby? Love can make the bitch go. I've probably been asked that like a hundred times and I'll never know what to say. I would have probably shot me when I was 16. If I would have walked up to me trying to talk about some, hey bro, you need to listen to me, I would definitely would have shot me at 16. Depending on the time and place, I was stupid when I was 16. I've never been close to giving up on what I did because I never really cared that much. It either worked or it didn't. And I, what keeps me pushing forward is uh, the fact that it's working. If it wasn't, I'd probably like, go get a job or something. Rap specifically is such a small part of music, and music is such a small part of actual fucking life. Like, there's so much to life that it's not that big of a deal to me. So many ways you can live your life. It's like, it's, I don't have to do this. Not saying I don't appreciate it, but it's like, it's not something I'm worried about necessarily in a negative sense. Like, it's a positive experience all around. My past, so in this cage, they made for me exactly where you find me at. Whether it's my time to leave or not, I never turn my back. A weekly regular appointment at the studio. I would try to finish my job of delivering rags and overalls to mechanics and stuff so I could get back to the tattoo shop. The two guys that introduced me to tattooing, Dean Sacred and Dan Anderson, were just like the greatest, most you know, inspirational people. I think my style is heavily influenced by traditional tattooing. Obviously Sailor Jerry is, is a pioneer.